Okay, so rather than show you how I make my coffee again for like the third day in a row, um, I just, I'm gonna tell you, I had my coffee hack this morning um, with my brownie mix and um, it's Saturday in the hospital, guys. Things are much more laid back. The doctors haven't even been in yet to round. Um, we're still here. He still needed oxygen last night. Um, my husband is gonna come down and bring my other kids so that I can see them. Um, he's going to switch out with me, let me sleep in a hotel in a real bed tonight, which I'm super excited about. And um, we're going to go from there. We're going to make the best of it. Um, I'm hoping to get to take my older ones, S-W-I-M-M-I-N-G, got to spell because little one's listening, um, in the hotel, P-O-O-L, this afternoon. Um, so I'll bring you guys along. I'm probably going to go have dinner. I'm probably going to go eat at True Foods Kitchen again because that spaghetti squash casserole was so good. Um probably take the kids over there to eat but I'm excited to get to see them for Mother's Day and we're just gonna make the best of our day here and I'm gonna bring you along okay so despite my best intention to eat every two hours today it's been three it's now 11 I'm gonna have the zesty lemon crisp bar and drink some water which I've been doing fat on today as well I'm just being honest with real life and what we're doing hold on baby mommy's making a video okay so anyways, yeah, it's it's another day in the life hospital and uh, we're just doing the best we can, but trying to stick to plan as close as possible. Okay guys, I had to come into the bathroom to find a quiet spot to record because my son is watching Donald Duck and I didn't figure you'd wanna hear that on the back of YouTube. Anyways, um, I just got off an amazing coach's training on Optavia and it's just got me fired up for like the sponsorship mindset. So I don't know if any of you are interested in coaching or if, um, you've ever been told about coaching with Optavia. Um, I don't think we've been terribly vocal about our story on YouTube either, um, as far as coaching goes, but we actually, my husband and I are both teachers. We were living paycheck to paycheck. When we got approached about Optavia, we said no for about six months because we were like, we just can't afford it, which turns out we really could. We were spending way too much money eating out and on junk food and stuff. But, um, we started coaching because we wanted to be able to pay for our kits, for our boxes. So for both of us to be on plan, it's going to be about $800 a month. And we thought, man, if we could make $800 to $1,000 a month coaching, this would really be a blessing for our family. And so we jumped right in with two feet and we've been not looking back since. And guys, it has turned in to so much more than that. The financial blessing and the financial freedom that it has given our family has been one of like the many benefits. We have been able to have an impact on a lot more people than we ever thought with our transformation journey and inspiring others and just helping people to realize that there's better out there, like what health can feel like. And we're so pumped about it because we feel so good. We think everyone, every Every parent, every adult deserves to live their best life and feel as good as we feel. And this program has just changed everything for us. Um, with the sponsoring mindset though, like I want to offer not only the gift of health to you, but I want to offer the gift of financial freedom to you. I think we had just kind of settled in the fact that we're both teachers and we have five kids and no matter how hard we work, we're never going to make more money. And this is just our lot in life. And Optavia has taught us that it doesn't have to be that way, um, that you can have um, another source of income and you can help people. And the way you help the most people is to have an organization of coaches with a sponsoring mindset that can reach out. Your sphere of influence is a lot different than mine, right? So I can reach out to my sphere, but if I train you up to be a coach and you can reach out to your sphere, then I've now impacted that many more people. And then financially, your family and your life has improved as well. So if that's something you're interested in, please comment down below. I'd be happy to reach out to you and tell you more, get you on a Coach Explore call, um, just to hear the possibilities. So that's something that's really, I'm fired up about and hopefully a lot of you will reach out to me and we can see where it goes. So I hear so many times from my clients that they do great during the week while they're at work or sitting at their desk or whatever and then the weekend comes around and they fall off the wagon. Guys, weekends make your health transformation. If you can use willpower and stay on plan and make good choices over the weekend, while still enjoying yourself, you're gonna just make progress week to week. If you are on a weight loss program for five days, Monday through Friday, and then get off every weekend, you might maintain, but you're never gonna make progress. So weekends are where it's at. Okay, 
Okay, so rather than show you how I make my coffee again for like the third day in a row, um, I just, I'm gonna tell you, I had my coffee hack this morning um, with my brownie mix and um, it's Saturday in the hospital, guys. Things are much more laid back. The doctors haven't even been in yet to round. Um, we're still here. He still needed oxygen last night. Um, my husband is gonna come down and bring my other kids so that I can see them. Um, he's going to switch out with me, let me sleep in a hotel in a real bed tonight, which I'm super excited about. And um, we're going to go from there. We're going to make the best of it. Um, I'm hoping to get to take my older ones, S-W-I-M-M-I-N-G, got to spell because little one's listening, um, in the hotel, P-O-O-L, this afternoon. Um, so I'll bring you guys along. I'm probably going to go have dinner. I'm probably going to go eat at True Foods Kitchen again because that spaghetti squash casserole was so good. Um probably take the kids over there to eat but I'm excited to get to see them for Mother's Day and we're just gonna make the best of our day here and I'm gonna bring you along guys why is it that the carbs yeah. always look so delicious yeah. my son got a quesadilla and french fries and it's taking willpower like it has every day he's ordered lunch I guess being a mom of five kid food used to be my jam prior to Optavia anyways um I say that to say this weekend choices make all the difference so I hear so many times from my clients that they do great during the week while they're at work or sitting at their desk or whatever, and then the weekend comes around and they fall off the wagon. Guys, weekends make your health transformation. If you can use willpower and stay on plan and make good choices over the weekend while still enjoying yourself, you're gonna just make progress week to week. If you are on a weight loss program for five days, Monday through Friday, and then get off every weekend, you might maintain, but you're never gonna make progress. So weekends are where it's at. Okay, guys. I'm gonna whisper because my son finally fell asleep. But sometimes it's just so frustrating to not be able to help. Like he's sitting on three liters of oxygen again and he's like satting 91%. Like, I guess it's just gonna take patience to get over this virus. That's what they keep saying, but it's just hard to watch him. You know, it hurts your mama heart. Um, I'm glad daddy's gonna come up and trade out. I need to be filled by my other kids and I think Brenner needs to be loved on by his daddy. So it's good that we can have a good team effort. All right guys, so we made the switch. You guys say hi. Hi. Mommy has all the kids, the other four kids in the car and we just went and got some swimsuits which we needed to get some anyway um, to go to the beach in a couple of weeks. So we just went ahead and grabbed some swimsuits and we are gonna go back to the pool and go swimming. In the meantime, it is time for another fueling, so I'm going to have my chocolate mint cookie crisp, and I'm also going to be in search of a Sonic or something similar because I would love a Diet Dr. Pepper. I was up a lot of the night. I need a little bit of caffeine to get me through the day, but I am making sure I drink my water, so mommy is glad to have the respite out of the hospital for a little bit, so this is good. Hotwire didn't disappoint, guys. We got this room for a steal of a deal. Check out this big, beautiful bathroom. The kids are excited to go down to the pool. All right, so I was not lying. It was so windy outside. I was not lying earlier when I said it is hard to stay on plan on the weekend. Like you just wanna go out and eat all the things. I would love to go eat chips and salsa tonight. My kids are begging me. They're asking where we can stop for dessert. But I've worked too hard all week while my son's been in the hospital to go and fail on something dumb like that. So we're gonna stick to the plan, go to True Foods Kitchen, have the spaghetti squash casserole, which I know is delicious. Probably gonna have a salad on the side tonight. Um, I meant to grab my Olive Garden dressing and I left it in the room. I did not mean to do that. But anyways, we'll figure out a, a good alternative. Um, and then <clears throat> uh, I already, I ate another fueling. I would like miscount it or something today. And um, so I had a fueling at about 5.30. Um, I just had the Red Berry Crunch cereal. Not my favorite, um, but it was what I had left and that's what I ate. So I've had all five fuelings today. I think coffee, lemon bar, honey mustard sticks, chocolate bar, yeah, I have all five cereal. Um, and so we're just gonna go have dinner and it's gonna be good. And I'm gonna be super proud of myself for sticking on plan. I'm gonna drink water because I have not had enough water today at even all. Um, but I'll show you guys, I'm excited. True Foods Kitchen, we're gonna go pick up a cauliflower pizza for my husband um, from the other restaurant that doesn't have the cauliflower issue that we ran into yesterday. Um, since he's at the hospital, I'm gonna run that up to him before we go out.
So we are here at True Foods Kitchen and my kids were not happy because soda wasn't on the menu. Um, Grayson's getting a cheese pizza and we're gonna see what else. All right guys, we have finally made it to the end of a very, 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 very long day. I did get some fun time with my kids in. We went swimming. Um, I'll answer the clip from that. We ate at True Foods um, Kitchen tonight and I had the spaghetti squash casserole again. I'll put a picture in. It was delicious, on plan. I was super proud of myself for staying on plan. I was really, really disappointed with the wait staff. It was very, very poor service. Um, we were there for like two hours. Um, I don't think they were happy that I had my kids, but you know what? My kids are my life, so get over it. Um, so that was frustrating. And then my kids talked me into getting them Cheesecake Factory for dessert because it was right next near the restaurant. And they love Cheesecake Factory and we don't have one where we live. So I let them, but holy cow, how tempting is that? So I'm gonna show you what I did instead. Um, usually I eat Arctic um, Zero ice cream. The store that I went to did not have that, but they did have this Sweeties. It's 245 calories for the pint. It says a serving size is half a cup with 70 calories, two grams of fat, um, 13 grams of carbs, and four grams of sugar. So I'm gonna eat half a serving, so I'm just gonna eat a fourth of a cup of this because it will fit into the 35 calories slash um, two grams of sh sugar slash seven grams of carb, which is what you wanna look for for a healthy snack on plan. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this Sweeties coffee flavored ice cream as a healthy choice instead of the cheesecake. Signing out for tonight. I hope um, you guys have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow for reset day seven, one weekend. All right guys. Peace.